Goldie here with some four star gold gameplay of Callisto, the King of Flight. Um, I've always been a fan of the Callisto card. There are a lot of acrobats coming out lately that are multi gem users and they just keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I've always relied on Callisto for my farming and for some offense. And now that they've revamped the move damage medals, I find him to be a lot more viable. He can take on some stronger matches. So I'm going to show two different scenarios for him today. Uh, the first will be farming for loot boxes. And the second will be non-farming, just doing a match offensively. So his moveset for both situations will be double green with his finisher. The trainers for farming, I'll use Steel for more starting green MP and Matt Hardy to boost the multiply gem strength. I have Showboat Lacey on for more green gem damage and Naomi just in case something happens and he gets folded. Since there are no tour perks right now, um, you'll have to farm in a tag match. The raw link for Kalisto will give you plus one starting MP. So that first green move will be ready to go on turn one. This is the move damage medal. It adds 50k damage onto his green moves, which makes him a lot more viable in my opinion. If there are tour perks and you have the plus one MP, you can solo farm with Kalisto. The key to farming with Kalisto is to have at least three loot boxes on the initial gem board, and a match three blue gem match. What you want to do is place three of the four multiply gems onto the loot boxes and place the fourth multiply gem onto the blue gem for the blue match. That will load the finisher. His finisher is 10 MP, matching three blue gems with one of them at times five multiplier will give you 7 MP, so that's your finisher charged for turn 2. Turn 2, hit the finisher, it destroys 5 multiply gems, you only have 3 on the board, so all 3 of those loot boxes will be destroyed, and since they have times 5 multiplies, multipliers on them, instead of counting for 3, they'll count for 5 each, so you'll have more than the 13 required loot boxes to get max loot. If the match doesn't end with the finisher, you can do what I did and use the second green move, which should be charged, to lay out more multiply gems and then chain them into a pin. Second scenario is using him for solo non-farming matches. Um, you could use steel, but I'm going to use striker cane instead, just so he destroys more multiply gems and you get more of a feel for what he can do. What you want to do is seek out your green gem matches first. Match those to load up the first green move. I could use it here, but there's no green matches and no blue matches, so I'll wait. And now that there is a blue match available to me, I'll use the green one move. Place multiply gems on one of the blue match gems to get that finisher charge and i'll place the others on blue and green gems you want to place at least two of the times five multiply gems on blue gems so when you use the finisher you break those two and it gives you 10 mp so it loads the finisher again and then you want to put at least two multiply gems on green gems so when you use the finisher, it breaks blue and green gems and recycles all three of his moves. Ideally, you want to place the times five on blue because the finisher is 10 MP 
and you can place two of the times fours on green because the green moves are six and eight charge. And since we're using striker cane, we destroy more. You want to put more on the blue gems because that's his primary gem and it does the most damage. We are going to get extremely lucky with this and wild card out of this submission without losing any MP, which is ideal when you're making a gameplay video. Now that all three of his moves are charged again and we know the match is going to end, you can put the multiply gems on loot gems to ensure that you get max loot from the match. Since we're using Striker Kane, we destroy 11 Multiply Gems instead of just 5. Um, if that wasn't the case, I would just be putting the Multiply Gems on the loot boxes. And with that, the match is over, and we've secured all 3 loot boxes. So with Kalisto, there are some coach options that I want to just briefly touch on. Um, I used Showboat Lacey for more green jam damage and Naomi just in case he gets hit super hard. You could use Taxina for more green jam damage. You could use Ember Moon for a 25% chance of more green gems on the initial board. You could use Rhea Ripley for the same coaching effect but with blue gems. If you have Zombie Taker, he gives you another multiply gem, and I believe he also buffs multiply gems, so they're a little stronger. Hall of Fame Sting gives you more blue gem damage. If you have R-Truth, he boosts uh, green move damage, so especially with the extra 50k you get from the move metal, that would help. Gooker would boost your move damage as well, and you would use your defensive coaches based off of who your opponent is. So if your opponent has power gems, you'd use Tech Lita. If your opponent has multiply gems, you'd use Trickster Edge. If your opponent has a submission, you'd use Akira Tozawa, etc. Like I said at the beginning, I'm still a big fan of this card. Um, you get his fuses in League Loot, and you will get plenty of shards of him, so you're not wasting TP. And for a free-to-play character, I think he is worth looking into. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and hit the subscribe button so you're notified when my next video comes out. I'm working on a new series. I'm excited. I can't wait to share it with you. Thanks again for watching, and take care.